Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, two separate questions. One is uh, whether to use MMC, LMC, or just regardless of feature size for a position tolerance. And the other one is if we use MMC with the tolerance zone, with the position tolerance zone, should we go with zero tolerance zone or a non-zero tolerance zone? Okay. Or uh, in other words, what is the use of a zero tolerance uh, at MMC? Why would you do that? So let's take a look. First question. What's the use of MMC, LMC, or regardless of feature size? So MMC, as I mentioned in my previous videos, the goal of it is to what? Is to make sure that the uh, shaft definitely goes through the hole, right? There is a clearance fit, there is a guaranteed assembly, and there is always a gap between them. And you might say, well, in this case, you made the size of the shaft to be always less than 30 and the size of the hole to be bigger than or equal 30. So there is definitely always a gap. What's the problem? Well, the problem is this hole, if it's not drilled in the right location, then, and it's off a little bit to the left or right, the thing is this pin is not really just an individual pin like that. It is mounted on a surface that can simulate A here, right? And this is um, created right at the same center location that the hole is supposed to be using the same basic dimensions. And so now if the hole is drilled a little bit to the left or to the right, then it might not go through even though uh, the dimensions are, are good in terms of tolerance, right? So here, we also need to make sure that the position of the hole is good. And here, we provided 10,000 for the tolerance zone for the center of the hole. Okay? Now, we use an MMC right next to it. Why? Here we say, if this hole is not made at MMC, and MMC is the minimum size here, 30, if it made a little bit bigger, so the hole, if it's made a little bit bigger, and here I draw it with exaggeration, so if it's made a little bit bigger like this, then if I bring it a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, so if this uh, tolerance zone is not exactly observed, a little bit more than that, still okay, because you have a bigger hole and still the pin is going to go through it. So here I'm giving the... A technician a bonus a bonus tolerance because the hole is made bigger and it increases the chance of uh, clearing the pin so I use this MMC to give more tolerance to the machinist and this is how it is working so if Phi here is the actual diameter that this hole is made and tolerance zone is the, the size of the tolerance zone here if I make it exactly at MMC, which is 30, then the size of the tolerance zone should be what? Should be 10,000, as you can see. But as I depart from it and make the hole bigger, maybe like 30.01, 10,000 bigger, this extra 10,000 can be added to the original tolerance zone of 10,000. So now you have 20,000 room for error. If I go all the way down to LMC, the biggest hole possible, which is 21,000 extra, that 21,000 extra can be added to 10, and now you have what? 31,000, okay? So this is what, this is that bonus tolerance that you're adding for uh, a bigger hole, okay? So <laughs> this is an MMC. Now, why would you use LMC? Would you use it? And if you do, why? What's the meaning of that? So if I use LMC, if I use L next to the tolerance zone, what's happening here? That's the meaning. Let's take a look first, and then we'll see if it's a good idea or not. So again, phi here is the actual diameter and that this one is going to be made. And then I have the size of the tolerance zone. So here, when the shaft is at LMC, at the biggest size, then what? Then uh, the tolerance zone should be 10,000. And as you get away from that and you make the hole smaller, then you achieve 
a bonus tolerance. So if you make this smaller this time, make it like 0, 010, 0, make it 11,000 smaller, that 11,000 is going to be added to that. So you go to 21. If you go down all the way to MMC, which is the smallest hole, this 21 is added to that. So now you get what? 31. Okay. And what's the meaning of that? What's the physical meaning? I'm making the hole smaller. The hole is shrinking. The hole is shrinking. But at the same time, I'm allowing it to be further shifted to the left or right. Well, I'm doing the exact opposite of last time. What's happening? You are making the hole smaller and at the same time allowing it to be shifted more left and right. That increases the chance of what? Interference. Right? Because on both ends, you are working against uh, this assembly. You're making the hole smaller. So there is a smaller room for the shaft to go through and you're moving it to the left and right. <laughs> so... This LMC, when you use it with a hole, that is most of the time going to cause some risk. And it can most of the time cause a what? An unwanted interference fit. So although the goal of using LMC is as opposed to MMC, which is a guaranteed assembly and clearance fit, the goal of this one is a location accuracy and basically when this pin goes into the hole we don't want any gap between them we don't want it to wiggle we don't want it to move right we don't want the pin to move in the hole anymore once it's assembled as opposed to here where we don't mind if it wiggles okay but because we are as i said working in both ends size and location against the assembly there might be so much interference that you cannot even do it. So most of the time, you do not use LMC for what? For assuring an interference fit. If you want to do a press fit or interference fit, it's not necessarily a good idea to use L. Okay, so you might say, what would you use then? If I want to use a bushing here, right? So this part is like a bushing. And it wants to go in the hole and stays there, uh, press fit. What would you use if LMC is too much? Well, then that's the answer is use what? Use the regardless of feature size. The goal of the result, the, the, um, regardless of feature size, is also what? Location accuracy. And we can get the pin to not wiggle as well here. But as I said, in this case, whatever this diameter is, the size of the tolerance zone is not going to be affected. So whether I make this guy at uh, MMC, whether I make it somewhere in between, whether I go all the way down to LMC, the size of the tolerance zone stays the same regardless of feature size, okay? So here, at least, if I'm uh, shrinking this hole, if I'm shrinking the hole here by going from basically this to this, I'm not increasing the tolerance zone. So I'm not allowing for this hole to move to the left or right. I'm not allowing that. Just trying to shrink it a little bit. So I definitely get what? A good interference and if you look at the dimensions here right the dimension of the hole is 30 and above the dimension of the shaft is also what 30 and above and the minimum size of the shaft in general could be bigger than maximum size of the hole so it's a guaranteed interference right but the more you shrink the more force is needed and the bigger interference you're going to have, but at least the position is not also working against you. So if you want an interference fit, the suggestion is to go with uh, no modifier here and leave it as is. That means regardless of what feature size. Then you might say, then what's the use of LMC? If LMC is not used for a press fit and MMC is used for a clearance fit, 
why would you use uh, where would you use LMC well let me show you so one of the places that LMC is used is for checking the wall thickness okay I guess here um, I, uh, the word wall is removed so we use it to control the wall thickness near a hole if you have a hole in an object that is close to a wall, close to an edge, to control this thickness and not make that thickness very small, we can use an LMC. Why is that useful? Because here you are saying what? You are saying, look, if I make this diameter of this hole at what? at LMC, which is the largest size, which is 24.1, yes, then the position error is what is 0.5. If I make the hole a little bit smaller than LMC, so I go to 24, this difference, 0.1, is added to 0.5, so it gets 0.6. If you go down to the smallest size, MMC, which is 23.9, that 0.2 difference is added to that, you go to 0.7. So what's the meaning of that? Well, so here, let's focus on this distance between uh, this top point of the circle to this top wall and see how much it would be, okay? So if i make it at 24 perfect 24 uh, the tolerance zone is 0 0.6 so what does it mean means that uh this point here can be 0.3 go 0.3 up or 0.3 down inside the circle so you can drill it here instead again this distance is 0.3 right that distance is uh, 0.3 between these two. And um, then when you draw that circle centered at that point, uh, this radius, remember, is half of 24, which is what? It's 12. So what is the remaining distance from here to here? If you calculate this distance from here to here, that is going to be 30 right 30 minus 0.3 okay that is going to be to the center of the circle and then another 12 off so it is going to be what 17.7 that is going to be that wall thickness if we call it whatever you want x maybe so that wall thickness x here is what if you calculated it it is going to be 17.7. .7. Now, if I go ahead and make my tolerance zone um, 0.5 and diameter 24.1, what's going to happen? Well, this tolerance zone is going to be half of 0.5, so this is going to be 0.25. And that diameter is 24.1 uh, so this radius is going to be half of that so it's going to be 1205 and again add these two numbers together you get the same what you get the same 12.3 12.3 subtracted from 30 that's going to give you the same what 17.7 and if you do it for this other one it is going to be the same thing so you see, when you put that LMC for uh, the hole, you make sure that the wall thickness stays the same, and this is very important for controlling the wall thickness. I don't want the wall thickness to change if the diameter of the hole changes. So here I'm saying, hey, if the diameter of the hole gets smaller, then I give you more room to what? To wiggle because uh, uh, the combination of the two will keep the wall thickness the same but if you make the hole bigger now you cannot uh, be off so much because the effect of them will make the wall thickness smaller and i'm not going to allow that 
Okay, so you see that's the amazing thing about LMC is controlling the wall thickness. Now, another point I wanted to add is, as I said, LMC is not super used, super common in uh, GDNT as much as MMC is. If we can use it for a wall thickness or something. One other reason is, remember, it was not a, a good option really for a press fit. Another option is when you have MMC, right? Remember, MMC is what for a hole? For a hole, MMC means the smallest hole. So in order to check the smallest hole possible, we use go gauges, which are basically pins that their diameter is a little bit, a few tiles, smaller than MMC of the hole, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. And then if this pin goes through the hole, we say that the diameter of the pin is what? The diameter of the hole is good. The MMC part of it is good. Now, if you combine that dimension, the diameter with a perpendicularity, so not only you want the whole diameter to be within limits, also you want the axis of the hole to be perpendicular to some datum, okay? Maybe this back surface or front surface. Now what? So here, right, you have this uh, datum A, and basically you have this uh, hole here, and for this hole, not only you are controlling this diameter, you say phi between some number and some other number, like 20, in this case, uh, plus and minus 0.1, right? Also, you want to refer to this guy with a what? With a perpendicularity, and you say, I want this to be perpendicular to A with so much other tolerance zone, right? Something like that. So now, if you use MMC next to this 0.02, if you use that next to this, if you remember from my previous lectures, what's the meaning of that? It means, hey, if this shaft is made the smallest, if this shaft is made the smallest, which is 19.9, then the amount of perpendicularity for the axis is 0.02. So this axis might not need to be perfectly straight and uh, perpendicular to A. It could be a little bit off like that, but this tolerance zone is what? Is uh, 0.02. If I make the whole what? A little bit bigger, then I can increase this size. Okay, and still you can check both of them. You can check both this one and this one with a simple what? With a simple go gauge, right? And the size of that go gauge comes from the virtual condition here, which is basically what? Basically the MMC of the hole, which is 19.9 minus what? The perpendicularity. Okay, so this is going to be what? It is going to be 19.88. If you make a go gauge with that diameter and the go gauge will go into it, it means not only the diameter is checked, also the perpendicularity is checked. Okay, so with one gauge, you can check both of them, right? On the other hand, if you use LMC here instead of MMC, uh, for LMC, which is the biggest size of the hole, if you remember, the way we check the biggest size of the hole is with a no-go gauge. So we use a go gauge, we use a gauge, sorry, we use a gauge for which the diameter is slightly, a few uh, thousand is bigger than this 20.1, like 21.05, something like that. And the diameter this much should not go in, okay? So that no go gauge, no go gauge pin should not go in that. Then we say, yes, the LMC, this LMC, the size of the pin is good. But what if you want to add that perpendicularity too also? 
Can I check perpendicularity as well as the LMC? No. Why not? Because that's a no-go gauge. That pin is not going to go in. And when it's not going to go in, I have no idea whether this perpendicularity was good or not. So it cannot tell you anything about perpendicularity. Okay. So remember, if it's just a dimension alone, yes, you can use a no-go gauge. But if it's a uh, LMC and use L with a perpendicularity or something, then guess what? You cannot check both of them. You can only check the first one. The second one cannot be checked. While if MMC was used with one go gauge, you can check both of them. Okay. So hopefully this, uh, this, all these explanations answered the first question that whether to use MMC, LMC, or uh, regardless of feature size for a position what scenarios what's the use the next question we try to answer here is if i give you these two drawings the same part and the difference between these two is this on the left i put a, a small tolerance on the dimension of the hole so it can only go from 0 0.52 to 0.54 but I give it some room for what? For the position error of the center. On the right side, I allow you to make the hole in a bigger range. I give you four, uh, 40,000 room for diameter error as opposed to 20, but I give you no room for position error, but not forever, not at all, only at MMC. So I say only if you make this hole at MMC, which is 0.5, you have no room for position error. But as you get away from the MMC, as you make the hole bigger, then you get a bonus tolerance. In both of these cases, you get bonus tolerance because a modifier is used. So which one would a machinist prefer between these two? Using zero at MMC or using a non-zero at MMC, but at the cost of what? making the tolerance on the hole smaller. Here, the tolerance on the hole is bigger. So which one would you prefer? To answer that, we need to look at these two whole uh, tolerance diagrams. And tolerance diagrams is the same thing as these tables I made. But instead of having a table, you just plot it. So you plot the tolerance zone versus the dimension instead of putting them on table. And we call it the what? We call it the tolerance diagram. Right? So what's the difference? First of all, these two are equivalent in terms of what? In terms of the virtual condition. Why? Because virtual condition for this hole on the left is what? For this hole on the left side, I mean, not uh, the left hole, but also on the left picture is what? How much is it? If you remember in my uh, video on virtual condition, it is what? It is the uh, LMC, which is 0.52, right, for an internal feature, minus what? Minus the geometric tolerance, which is 0.02, so it's 0.5. For this one on the right, how much is it? Again, it's the smallest size, 0.50, minus the uh, geometric, again, tolerance, which is 0. So again, it's what? 0.50. So you see, they both share the same virtual condition, but a different distribution of the tolerance. In one, everything is given to the position at MMC, zero for what? For position. Here, uh, a little bit of that is given for the size, and a little bit of that is given for the position at MMC. Which one would you prefer and why? So here, we create these uh, plots. So for the one on the left, at MMC of 0.52, the uh, position is 0.02, as you can see here. And then as you move away from it to 0.54, then you gain an extra 0 0.2, 0 0.02 added to this 0 0.02, so you get to 0 0.04. So this region here, this trapezoid, is... Uh, the region of positional tolerance versus whole diameter. That is your uh, tolerance diagram. On this one on the left, what would you have? 
at 0.5, you have zero, as you can see. As you move away from it in a linear manner, you keep what? You keep uh, gaining bonus tolerance. So now that you are at 0.52, uh, you have uh, gained 0.2, added to zero, it's at 0.2. And finally, you go to 0.54, you gain 0.04. So this whole triangle is your um, basically region for tolerance. Now, between these two, which one would you prefer? A machinist would always prefer this guy. Why is that? Well, in a simple thing, you might say, well, because this is like a bigger region compared to that. And yeah, kind of that's true. So uh, how would you machine these if uh, you were the machinist? Here, the machinist is telling you, the designer is telling the machinist, hey, the dimension should be between 5.52 and 54. So if you were the machinist, you try to shoot for the middle range. So you try to shoot for what? 0.53 and you know you have plus and minus what? Uh, 0 0.01 plus minus 10 tau's room for error. Yes? Here, what would you do? Here your dimension is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.54. So you shoot again for this middle range. So you probably shoot for 52 and plus and minus 20 tau's. So you see here, you have more room for error in the size as opposed to what? error here okay and <clears throat> if you didn't end up at 0.52 right you made it a little bit smaller or bigger based on that you can adjust your what you can adjust your uh, position tolerance and you can focus on that one now but here, you don't have too much wiggle room. You see, with respect to the middle point, you only have plus and minus 0 0.01 wiggle room for dimension. Here, you have plus minus 0 0.02. So a machinist typically what? Prefers this one as they have more room to uh, drill the hole. Okay? And uh, one last thing I want to mention is so we said that zero tolerance at MMC is a good thing for a clearance hole, and you might use that. One last thing I want to mention is this zero tolerance is never used without MMC or LMC modifier. So if you put a zero, if you put a zero, you should always add a modifier here. You will never go zero regardless of feature size. Because that's dangerous. That means it doesn't matter how big or small you make the hole. There is no room for position error. No. You want to give some room for position error if the hole is made what? A little bit bigger. Okay? And that is done with MMC. So although here I mentioned that it's not done with MMC or LMC, it's really typically done with MMC and barely ever done with what? LMC, as I said, LMC is typically used for a wall thickness, not for the position of a clearance hole. So if it's a clearance hole, you always use zero with what? With MMC, okay? That was the last point that I wanted to mention, and hopefully uh, these explanations were useful to you to decide what kind of modifier to use for a position. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.